This is part two. You're watching this if you want to make your tapestry into a bag. So the first step is to go all the way around the edge with a single crochet. So in this top corner where we left off, we're going to place two more crochets, two more single crochets, and that'll turn the corner. And then along the edge, you're just going to space out single crochets all the way down the edge. There will not be a specific spot really to place them. You just kind of need to guess. However many you place, it'll be fine. But you're going to do that all the way down the bottom. Once we reach the bottom, you're going to place three stitches in the corner. And then same thing, you're going to work along the bottom with single crochets. And same thing when you get to the corner, place three single crochets and then work along the side again. Once you reach the end, you're just going to slip stitch into that top stitch, chain one, and cut your yarn. And we're going to go ahead and cut our yarn and leave a tail that will wrap all the way around the perimeter of the bag. And that will help us out later when we need to sew the back side of the bag. And there is our front panel. So, like I said, if you're going to make a bag, this is the boring part, <laughs> but what we need to do is create the same exact size grid, but plain. So we're going to chain 35, and then we're going to do 43 rows of single crochet, just like we did at the beginning, except this time it's just going to be plain green unless you want to make the back something different. We're going to make sure that it's the same exact width as the first panel. So I'm going to chain my 35 and I'm just going to create my plain green single crochet panel. So I finished all 43 rows and then what you're going to want to do is go around the outside again with single crochets just like we did on the other panel. So I did around the outside and I'm just going to hide these few ends that I have and even this end and then I'll, I'll show you what to do next. All the ends have been hidden and now I have my duck and the plain piece and they should be exactly the same size. Let's check. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the bad sides together and then we are going to join the two together with our tapestry needle and we should have left that long tail from earlier and that's what this is for. So I'm going to start here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the corner on this one, top corner to top corner, and then as you can see there's two stitches on either side. I'm just going to go through half of each stitch. So there should be a little loop close to the center on this half, and then a loop on the other half. So I'm just going through half of the fish tail, and I'm just going to be weaving back and forth all the way down and all the way around the bag until they are connected.
And this is going to take a minute, but it should start to look like this on the side. So I just sewed around the whole thing, and now I'm just going to hide this end, just like all the other ones. And then cut it. Now you should have something that looks like this. It's a little pouch. So the next part, obviously, is to make the strap. And what we're going to do is we're going to create one side, and then we're going to create the other, and then we're going to create the whole strap. So for the straps, I'm going to make it so that there's five on the front, five on the back, and then one on the seam here. So I'm going to join with about five stitches from the side and I'm going to place a single crochet in the next five stitches. And that puts me at the back here. And so I'm going to stick my hook in the back and put one there, one on the seam. And then I'm going to put at least five more on the back side of the bag. And that should give me 11 stitches. And then I'm just going to fold it in half and make sure that it seems even. And it does. So then I'm going to turn my work. And we're going to start decreasing now. So the next stitch, I'm going to skip the first stitch and place a single crochet in the next stitch. And then single crochet across until you have two stitches left on the end. Two left on the end. And we're going to decrease. So to decrease, you stick your hook in the first stitch pull up a loop, stick your hook in the last stitch, pull up a loop, and then pull through all three. Then we're going to turn our work again. And we're going to do the same thing. Skip the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet until you have two stitches at the end. And then decrease in the last two stitches. And you should have seven stitches. And we're going to do that one more time. Skip the first stitch, single crochet in the next, single crochet and until you have two stitches from the end. And then decrease. And then you should have five stitches left. And there is the corner. So I'm just going to turn my work now and I'm going to single crochet back and forth five single crochets and that is the width of my strap. So we'll just go back and forth a couple times so that you can see. that is what it will look like. I'm actually going to cut my yarn here because we're going to do the other side and then join it to this side. So I'm just going to cut the yarn, chain one, pull it through, and then I'm going to do the same exact thing on this side. So I'm going to grab the fifth stitch, join my yarn, and do 11 single crochets, five on one side, one in the middle, and five on the other. And then same thing, you're gonna do the decreases. 
until you have five stitches left and then we're going to just do five single crochets back and forth until you get the length of the strap that you want we're just back and forth single crocheting until it reaches the opposite side at the length that you want. When you finish how long you want your strap to be, you're gonna do a single crochet around the outside, all the way down the strap, and then all the way across the front, and then around the strap, and then around the back, and then up the other side of the strap, and then you can cut your yarn. Once you've done a row all the way around the top and the strap, it should look a little bit something like this, all the way to the end. And then just leave a long tail for sewing. And then the last step we have of the crochet process is to thread our needle there's that and then just keep going back and forth just sewing the strap together and then once I get to the corner I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to pull it through a couple times and almost try and make it look like there's a another chain on the end. And then when you're done, flip it over and sew through the back, just like with every other end that we've gotten. And then cut your thread. And there's the join. You can kind of see it, but it's very, very minimal. And then I have two more little ends that I need to hide. So I'm gonna do that. The strap is attached. At this point, your bag is done if you're going to stop here. But if you're going to line the bag, I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right. So I picked out the fabric I want. I'm just gonna use this navy color because I have like exactly the amount that I'll need. So what you need to do with whatever fabric you have is um, if you have an iron, um, you should probably iron your fabric. So after you've done that, it'll be a little bit easier to work with. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and fold this because I have this kind of like ratty section that I won't be able to use. Fold it over. Now, if you have plenty of fabric, if I had plenty of fabric, actually I might, I would leave the folded edge at the bottom because that's going to catch all of your stuff. And if you leave it with an edge without a seam, it won't rip as easily. Where I'm gonna probably have to use a seam on the bottom because this doesn't seem to be wide enough. It might be just perfect. So let's go ahead and do that. So you're gonna line the bottom of your bag up with the fold of the fabric. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take either like a marker or a pen and I'm going to trace right where the edge is on my bag. And then also where the top is. And do that on both sides. And 
and then you can remove your bag and you should have a square drawn with a fold at the bottom and then the outline of your bag. Okay, actually, before you cut that out, I almost made a big mistake. You, this inside line is the first line that we drew. So let me lay my bag down again. I drew a line around the edge, like a fourth to a half of an inch wider than the first line that we drew. And I did that on all three sides and the top. My top line is really skinny because I don't have a lot to work with. You should have a line on the outside and you need to cut on that line. And then after you do that, you should be left with one more line on either side of the back and that is the line we're going to sew on. So just check one more time let your bag down. Those lines should line off directly with the edge of your bag. So I've got the thread that I'm going to use. It's the closest color to the outside of the crochet bag. I'm just going to put my bobbin on. So the first thing we need to do is take our sewing machine, or if we're hand sewing, same, um, same strategy applies. We're just going to do a straight stitch right down this line that we drew on both sides. So after you did that, you should have a line on either side here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stick that in the bag. We're just going to stick it inside the bag and stretch it all around and it should fit edge to edge tight enough but not too tight that the bag is you know not able to reach its full size if it looks like the inside is too big for the small bag then you can just go back and sew this line a little bit narrower the next step is to line up the bag exactly how you want it and then you're going to start folding this top down because that's the way we're going to sew it into the bag. We're going to fold it down and I'm going to pin it in place right where I want it all the way around the entire perimeter of the bag. And then after you've pinned it in how you like it, I'm just going to stick it under the machine, fabric up, and do a straight stitch all the way around the edge. And this is what it looks like when it is all done. If you look really closely, you can see some of the stitching, but most of it I got in between the um, two single crochets. And here's the inside. Here's what it looks like on it's so very bright right now. It's all lined. If you guys make one of these, please tag me on Instagram or TikTok. I would love to see it. If anybody is interested in purchasing this duck bag, um, comment down below, message me on Instagram, something like that. I'm totally open to selling it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.